um, Red Dead 2. Um, so, all right, I'm so going to give probably this, have like some serious notes. I'm going to give this the review treatment. I'm guessing it's pretty good. Uh, well, okay, so yeah, I mean, it, it's been getting 10 out of 10, and it deserves it. It is a fantastic game. I really want uh, it. All the gameplay is is fun. So, the way that I'll break this down, um, the level of detail, I think, is the biggest highlight for this game everyone is talking about. Um, anywhere from, of course, horse testicles and pooping to, uh, <laughs> to just, like, how much... <laughs> like, you have animals that Sorry. decompose. You have... Chat. All this stuff. <laughs> All he does is cry, create issues, and get people killed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you talking about Jesse? Yeah, I'm watching it for the third time. I think I've seen it about three times. So I think mean, it's a that's a fair assessment. For, <laughs> un, like unpopular opinion, Badger is the greatest character of that show. Oh, Badger! When he sells meth to a cop, uh, then it's DJ Qualls to on a party. Oh day. yeah! You gotta tell me if you're a cop. And then immediately gets arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's good. I like his uh. Star Trek fanfic about uh, the did you you remember that one about the eating contest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about Badger still? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so okay, so back to my Red Dead Redemption Two review. Sorry guys. Sorry. Um. Okay. So the graphics are fantastic. The detail, everything's great. Like if you kill an animal, it will decompose over time. Really? Uh. Yeah. Really? The way that your hair nice. grows, you have to shave, otherwise your beard will grow. You can cut from your chin, your mustache, and then from your chops in different lengths. Cool. Uh, so you can kind of design from that level. Your hair grows as well. You have to go to the barber to get it cut. Um, you have to have items to make things work. Like I kept seeing this option to add pomade to my hair, but I didn't have any pomade. So I was like, oh, oh why is this not working? And I was like, it says, like, oh, you don't have any pomade, dumbass. I was like, oh, um, you know, clean your guns, but you, got, you have to have gun oil. Um, there's this amazing small detail, like, if you, like, so, sometimes there are witnesses that witness things that happen, so you have to chase them down, and I oh, hog tie good. them, and then I just leave them. <laughs> <laughs> so either they die, or you find them later on. I found one guy later on, I could not figure out for the longest time why he was just straight up running from me. Like, <laughs> he's like, ah! <laughs> and, he just, and I was like, hey, come back here! What's your problem? <laughs> and, and so, so awesome. I realized the guy hog tied his ass at one point. Um, there's also like, so I did this whole mission where I killed like a, a fuckload of people and then I stayed back at the cabin to like go through everything and they left me behind. Lawman walked by, saw the dead bodies, started exploring, picking up the dead bodies to take them back and caught me. You should have got out of there. They man. caught me in the scene. Well, I was like, all of a sudden I was like, you're, you're wanted. People are investigating the area and I'm like, what the fuck? And they're like walking around and like, what was best? I put on my bandana and I snuck in the corner and the door opened, and I'm still, like, I mean, visible next yeah. to the door. The guy walks up to the table in the middle of the room, looks around, walks right past me, and goes back outside. So the AI still hasn't quite I figured love. out stealth mechanics. I <laughs> but I was still just, like, um, <laughs> the one, th the one. so, like, this game's details really good. The story is really, really cool. Um, you actually grew up with John Marsden and Dutch. Like, Dutch raised you and John. So you guys are kind of like brothers and you kind of hate each other a little bit, which is cool. This guy is more of like where John is the spaghetti Western Clint Eastwood style character. You are more of like the uh, uh, Robert Redford Marlboro Man style, You're like buffer, gruffer. Okay. Um, when you punch, like the way that like the physics works, like punching and knocking people out. It's just so like it's just so realistic and so detailed um fighting is intense like i i whenever i fight in a game usually you're this kick-ass character like bah, 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 the person's down mm -hmm. but here like you don't know if you're going to win in this boxing match or not <laughs> like you're you're still not sure you know and then um uh, you know the same thing with like goes with like the intensity of like i was attacked by a grizzly bear oh, and every time i'm attacked by a grizzly bear i don't know if i'm gonna make it through that moment and it's intense like they do not give you like a quick quick kill option it's they that you gotta thing really... mauls your ass for a little while and then you get a couple like and then you know it mauls you a little longer you get a couple and like there's even points where you're laying shots on that bear before it comes at you and it still takes it like a champ so the detail in this game is beautiful um the the physics are the only thing in this game that do not follow suit as well uh... and also, I, I consider this a plus. So if you are considering buying this game, buy it now 
while the physics still don't quite work <laughs> because there are some amazing moments. I My horse hit a rock and the guy riding my horse just kind of stepped off and I went whoosh right in the air like a Skyrim character that just got hit by a giant. Like I was nice. like, became part of the Skyrim and he was like, oh, like it was cool too because it was like one of those slow-mo scenes where someone gets launched up and his legs and arms are flailing. Like it was a cool thing, but I mean, the physics just don't quite make sense yet. Okay. <laughs> and so hor and horses, I like, we still haven't figured out horses yet. Uh, I don't think, but I've, I've, that's one of my favorite parts of the game. What should be a minus is more of a plus. I, I absolutely Call love Saul. it. Uh, what? Better Call Saul, I believe. Is the yeah. yeah. So, so if you haven't, um, if you haven't played this game, oh, the other thing I don't like are the controls. That's one thing I don't like is the controls. The controls are becoming so detailed, it's hard to remember everything. Oh. Um, I still can't figure out how to get behind a rock. <laughs> what are you playing this on? I'm playing it on Xbox One. Okay. This is the first game also that is two discs. It takes an hour to install. Um, and then it's two discs. This is the first one I've seen on this generation of consoles that is two discs. It's massive. It's like 100 gigabytes. Um, and then like a 20 gig update. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so it's it's a massive game. It really is. But it is worth every penny. It's worth every gig. It is worth every second of waiting that hour. It is a lot of fun. Um, the game interestingly enough forces you to just slow down and soak everything up whereas every other game like uh gta 5 they say that like it's a fast-paced game which it is yeah your breakneck speed is just flying through this game and it forces you through the story as fast as it can this game holds you back there's a reason why it's a 60 hour campaign at least because you're just soaking up every little detail even during the mission, like the story missions. Okay. So there's a point where like I got sat down and was playing poker and I actually got caught up playing poker in the game. <laughs> poker is like very intuitive in that game and it's really? very easy and very fun. I, I would um, be playing a lot. I, like uh, fishing in Zelda, you get sometimes. Yeah. There's like, fishing right in there. this game too. I haven't gotten to fishing yet. That's as far as I'd make it. <laughs> <laughs> there's fishing, there's hunting. Yeah, it's um, probably 300 hours probably to get through that campaign it sounds like. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> it's huge, it's massive, but it's fun. Um, everything you do can be really, really fun. It's just controls a little bit. There's I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally murdered someone. <laughs> uh, but I have a couple of really good recordings of like, I mean, this one guy is drunk and I was in a fist fight with him and I accidentally hit the button that switched over to a knife and I just chest stabbed him. <laughs> like, mm, and he was down and I was like, oh, fuck. You should do that in real uh, other fights, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and there was another dude that was like hanging off a cliff and I went to help him up and then I was like, okay, wait, I'm going to point my gun at him and see if I can get what I want out of him. And then I was like, oh, I'll just put my gun away and then I shot him on accident <laughs> and he fell off the cliff and died. Um, so if I were to give this game, uh, Jay Gambling, I can't imagine it, especially in video games. Yeah, you know. Um, so if I were to give this game, because uh, the old review system that I did on Game Changers, which I'm going to adopt here, is a buy, borrow, or bypass. Um, so buy is in just pay the full sixty dollars. Uh, borrow you could either borrow from a friend or maybe even rent, and then bypass being just don't even touch it. I'm gonna give this a buy. I would say pay full sixty dollars too. I wouldn't even like to pay a discounted rate on this because this game is worth all of the support that they put into this game. Really? Yeah, it is. There are certain games like Breath of the Wild that is worth every penny, and there are certain games that I would wait to spend my money on. Yeah. Um, I I can't remember any specific examples right now, but this game is is sixty dollars worth of of content. Like it's one hundred percent fills it up. So buy this game. Yeah. Okay. I'll try after I get a new car. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> don't don't go broke. Also, make sure you have like free time. Like if you have a week's vacation, <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Okay, so let's move on to our next topic. We're gonna be talking.